is part of the descent map. Again, that's focusing on you know this idea of uh, digital democracy, democracy rebooted uh, on the blockchain uh, to so that we can become part of the Athenian super organism. And in this section, I want to talk a little bit about game B. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not coming through. Game B. Okay, so it's going to move us over to game B. Um, I've talked a lot about Jim Rutt, who came out of MIT. Uh, he was a trustee at Santa Fe Institute, and he helped develop Big Chain DB database that then became uh, uh, Ocean Protocol. So that he overlaps with Trent McConaughey and the other map, and this plans for uh, the Filecoin and Protocol Lab systems. Uh, that the, these things are all interrelated. And again, what Jim Rudd is talking about in a complex system is that it is it, this game mechanics, it is game B. So they're talking about a transition away from game A, which you might call late stage capitalism into game B, which is collectivism, mutualism, but not framed as socialism or communism, but rather as you social insects and doing things for the common good uh, and to create a liquid democracy. And you think of, <clears throat> liquid as being part of this phase shift and fluid dynamics that's being modeled on social physics. Um, so I just wanted to to talk about, uh, you know, the Los Alamos uh, feeds into the Santa Fe Institute. Uh, this game B also involves uh, Jordan Hall and Vanessa, Vanessa Hall, uh, his wife, who are both into uh, psychotechnology and uh, neurohacking and various sorts of biohacking, including nootropics, so getting into altered states of mind. So if they're going to use our our biology and our spirit and our psyche as a computational mechanism. There are these various uh, tools uh, to enhance the information that they're getting, some of which are plant medicines or other kinds of chemical systems or even just non-substance uh, but mindfulness practices to get us into an altered state to access group mind and, and advance ego death. Um, but for this, I wanted to mention, it's really important, I think part of, I think what's, what's interesting to the system about humans is that we have a certain amount of randomness and unpredictability. And that is part of the modeling for nonlinear systems. And that's something that Stan Ulam, who is in that photo, focused on. He helped develop the hydrogen bomb but had all sorts of anxiety and eventually was sort of had a condition that led him, I don't know if he was institutionalized mentally or for physical exhaustion, uh, but they said, you have to turn your mind off and just do other things. And he was doing um, solitaire and card games. And though, so then he, he, in developing that, a language of, of risk called the Monte Carlo method. So, so using some de what they call degrees of freedom or variables, to make predictions about the future based on uh, the information at hand that is incomplete, incomplete information. And so when we're looking at the picture of von Neumann, Feynman, and Stan Ulam, Ulam's focus is statistical and statistics and probability and risk when you do not know all the information and that's what he is very important at and I think that is what why the gaming is important because the gaming is pulling in the unpredictability and the emergent potential of the players in the game the agents the people with the digital wallets but not just people you know if nature's going to have a digital wallet and an iPhone to steer towards these emergent properties um, so I just wanted to sort of point out this is where Stan Ulam fits in um, over here we have the Santa Fe Institute that was founded you know fairly recently, 1983. Uh, it was also home to uh, John Henry Holland, who was the father of genetic algorithms. And again, all of this social evolution is being guided through an algorithmic process. Uh, and um, let's see, it was it was initially funded by John Reed of Citigroup. So the the, the field, they, they pioneered the field of econophysics, melding economic modeling with physics but then also it's overlapping with the biophysics as well. Um, and, and what's interesting to me is that their first offices were in the Cristo Rey Convent in Santa Fe. 
So it does sort of overlap uh, in terms of the archetypal uh, narrative with the things we've been talking about in terms of uh, the dome of domination and Western society over indigenous culture of the Southwest, which had its own um, like amazing cosmology of and worldview. Uh, so anyway, so that's the piece that I wanted to talk about with uh, game B, gaming mo mechanics, and the intersection of consciousness, uh, nootropics, uh, game design, prediction signaling, and pattern recognition.